Yeah, yeah, Claire, if you stand right there, I've got everybody in the frame. Yeah. I'm glad we dressed up for radio. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. We, look like, we look like we're needed in that picture. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> uh, we also want to do, uh, you know, we'll, we'll give uh, two tickets for you guys to give away cool. on air, too. Cool. Uh, if you want to do that today uh, or tomorrow, whatever's good for you, you know. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Yep. Okay, when you ready. Coach 97.3 North for Hip Hop and R&B. Your man Big B is in the building, and of course, you know it always goes down when my people from Brown Coat Pub or Nirvana flip in the building. Special, a special show tonight and for the rest of the weekend at the Brown Coat Pub and Theater. But I have the very eclectic musicians in the building. I want them to introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. I am Clairvoyant from Denver, Colorado. And I'm Vlad. And Aiden Sinclair back again. And Aiden Sinclair back in the building. Yeah, thanks now, for having us back, Big B. All the time. And when we ask, we, we're, we're looking at some, if I may, please don't get me, because I know you guys might get me, especially black. <laughs> I may get you. <laughs> this is a mindful, when I say mindful, as far as mind magician. Is that cool for me to say that? I work as a mentalist. Okay. So mind reading, and then we have some psychic stuff from Aiden. Right. And vampiric magic from Vlad. Yeah. yeah it's going to be a pretty dark show. It'll be fun. I wanted uh, to say that, but I, yeah. I was scared of Vlad. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah. It's just, it, this is definitely not your kid's magic show at all. Uh, right. You know, it's kind of recommended for 13 and up because it's, it's going to be a little bit dark. Uh, mm -hmm. The subject matter we talk about is uh, is death and spirits and ghosts and uh, you're going to witness some pretty paranormal things in that theater tonight. Well, tomorrow, could be for the kids if they were from the Adams family. That's true. That's true. So if kids you were know. from the Adams family, they, when, they're Wednesday, allowed. Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday is definitely welcome. <laughs> yeah. Now, with that being said, we're talking about uh, not necessarily dark magic, but a dark show. It is. It is. The subject matter is really deals with things uh, uh, death, suicide, the Black Dahlia is uh, Miss mm. Clairvoyant's specialty. Murder so show. Really? Yes. We do a little bit of a murder mystery type show. Oh, that's big. Yeah. Now, with that being said, with that being said, it's normal for me to see a bunch of men in the magic show. How different is it with you, you know, I am confusing <laughs> everything? <laughs> it's fabulous. I have, I have built-in misdirection, which is great. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it is more of a male-dominated industry, mm -hmm. for sure, uh, which gave me more of a reason to move in. I have a little bit of a niche. Um, I started as a magician assistant and then realized I was doing all the work for half the money and was like, no, done with that, right. and made my own show. So okay. I have a little bit of a niche, and there's probably like three full-time performing female magicians in the country. Wow. So it's a little bit of a special show tonight. Get, get in on that. Welcome and, to Wilmington. And, and, and Claire's you. got better legs than the other two, so <laughs> we're going to go with Claire. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. Now, Vlad, you, you bring something totally different to this. I do. I try, I try and bring sort of like if you open the Frankenstein or Dracula or Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and bring literature to life where you're part of the horror film. So mm. it brings you into the experience. So right. it's as close you can get to living and dying in one moment and possibly leaving the theater unscathed. Oh, man. Lad, don't give me that. I'm not even coming now, man. I'm not even coming. And then we got my man, Amen. I mean... Oh, well, thank you, B. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Last time you here, you did the... You did the, um... We had... Oh, we did the Titanic. Titanic. Yeah. And you I mean, really drew me in with I'm the glad story. You and I'm glad Vlad said something about literature. And because of... The, the type of show you draw folks in with the story. Yeah, there's definitely an emotional connection to all three elements of this show. Uh, this is a special show for me because in the past I've always brought my ghosts kind of to the Brown Coat Theater. Um, we did the first show I think I was ever in town. We talked about the ghosts of Wilmington, mm. uh, but I had a lot of props and, and things that came from those people. And then we did a show about Hollywood and, and the Titanic. Uh, tonight's show is going to be really like stepping back in time and going to a very early 1900s seance. Um, almost everybody in the audience, I'm sure, has known somebody who in their life has passed, and those are the ghosts we're going to work with tonight. Um, there's no props, there's no boxes, there's nobody getting sawn in half tonight, no rabbits out of hats. When people come into that theater, the, the final hour of the show is going to be as close to contacting the dead as someone can. 
Uh, it's all about the spirits and the afterlife and whether or not we can raise those ghosts right into the Brown Coat Theater. It's going to be pretty spooky. Boy, yeah. <laughs> get your tickets right now. Call them up. Um, you can call 910-341-0001. If you call in advance, you save $5 off the ticket. Shouts out to my man Richard Davis and his whole team over there at Brown Coat Pub and Theater. Uh, the doors open at 7.30 tonight. Show's at 8 o'clock. Um, and get your tickets. It's just a great show. I mean, every time, anytime they put something on like this, it's a great show, and it's always outside of the box. And yeah. we have shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now. We've had yeah. a Sunday show. Right the Sunday yeah. show? Yeah, yes. they, the tickets actually for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are nearly completely sold out. There's there's really a handful of tickets for each Thursday, Friday, and Saturday show. Uh, and because they sold so fast, we, we added the Sunday since we're still in town. We were like, let's do one more. Uh, the demand has been amazing. We really encourage people to get online and call um, because the, the tickets are going to be gone probably by the end of the day. It's really crazy. Man, you can hit us up on our Facebook and we'll direct you to um, Brown Coat Pub and Theater Facebook so you can get all the information that you need. Also, if you hit our Facebook in a little bit, you better see some uh, magic is going down. Clay, you going to do some magic? I yeah. am, just for you. Hey, keep it locked right here. It's close to 97.3. Mm, so we're going to chop that up about five minutes. We're going to yeah. chop all that up. Sweet. Then we're going to get the video. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. How you doing? 